Michigan borrow my boombox? What's the party without a tune? Look, Tina, why don't you just come over and we'll go through my tape? Tell Tina I'm bringing the brownies to her party. Um, Casey said to tell you that she's bringing brownies to your party. Yeah, she's hanging out here while Jamal's the prom committee meeting. Wow, uh, all this stuff is so final. The prom tomorrow, the graduation party you're throwing for us. I can't believe Jamal Alex, and I are finally graduating from middle school. He just showed up one night. What is that thing? He's not an alien. What is he? We think he might be a ghost. Be serious. He wants to be friends with us. But he can't hear and he can't talk. He can read anything. He takes letters and he writes with them. We're the only ones who can see him. You have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. Hey, cool. We're the Ghost Rider team. We check out clues and solve mysteries. He's a ghost and he writes to us. Ghost Rider. Gross as that stuff you're eating. What is that? Uh, great bubble gum. It looks like slime. That's the idea. Haven't you heard of the slime monster? But I've seen slime monster commercials on TV, but I never paid much attention to them. It's pretty cool, though. So who's the slime monster? It all started at the reliable bubble gum factory. One day, the guy who was supposed to be mixing up the bubble gum fell asleep at the control. The bubble gum got too hot, and too much sugar got poured in. There was a big explosion, and boom! Gooey gut, the slime monster was born. He rose about the bubble gum, all twisted, slimy, gooey looking. It was one mean chunk of chewing gum. I'm burning mad. I'm steaming <laughs> mad. You laughing at me? You laughing at me? Sorry. The slime monster doesn't like when people make fun of him. And when he gets mad... Get ready. Yum! Hey, what's Ghostbiter doing? Mm -hmm. Warning, do not overheat. I wonder what could happen. The slime monster got too hot. Maybe he'd explode, and there'll be slime all over the place. Yuck! It sure is creepy, though. He gives my goosebumps goosebumps. Oh, I like that. I can use it in my story I'm writing. Hey, what story? The one I'm writing for the Slime Monster contest. Whoever wins gets their story packaged inside every box with the Slime Monster. Cool! But how do they decide who wins? It's got to be the scariest, creepiest story about the Slime Monster. But the rules say no blood and no guns. Like, you can't blow anybody's head off. That's good. Yeah, but it's a lot harder to make it scary. And I don't have much time. The deadline's Monday. That means I only have this weekend. And I see what you've written so far. Attack of the Slime Monster by Casey Austin. Once there was a girl named Casey who wanted Gooey Guts the Slime Monster. She thought it would be fun to play with. 
She was wrong. Dead wrong. Grandma, why don't you the only thing I want for my birthday? You don't have to give me anything else. You don't even have to bake me a cake. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find one. The toy stores were all sold out. I'll never get one. Get one what? Nothing. Does nothing look like this? Is that what I think it is? Open it and see. Scooby Gas, the fly monster, you found one. Oh, wait a minute, Casey. You better be careful opening that box. It was a long walk from the toy store, and it's really hot outside. You know what they say about the slime monster. No. What do they say? Warning, do not overheat. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry about it, Grandma. Your mom's just trying to scare. Snake! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha again. Keep reading. <laughs> gotcha. Got me, too. Remember that time you hit those snakes in my drawer the last time you were here, Casey? Well, I've been waiting to get you back. Yeah, well, I can get you again. If you're going to get me, you're going to have to catch me first. <laughs> I'll catch you if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> you're all talking no slime. Okay, okay. No. I'm sorry, Grandma. Okay, young lady. Hand it over. <laughs> gotcha again. You laugh at me. Casey snarled. She was mad, burning mad. At Jamal for getting her in trouble. However, trying to get Jamal back now might get her into even bigger trouble. So what's Casey going to do now? Keep reading. Yes, sir. You've got to. Get so pretty early in the morning to beat the old cousin Jamal. Yes, Jamal. You're right. You're so much older and so wise. Finally, a little respect from the younger cuz. I just wish I could get my slime monster back. Don't worry. He'll live to slime another day. Not if Grandma has anything to do with it. You know... It's all your fault. I was trying to hit you. Now I'll never see my gooey guts again. Have no fear. I'll help you. All we need to do is prove to Grandma that you can keep the little monster under control. Are you sure you'll be able to get my spy monster back? Consider it done. Gooey guts is the only monster I need to keep under control. Secretly, Casey decided to plot her next move. Boy, that would be really cool the way you turn the tables on Jamal. You ever get Jamal again? You'll find out on the very next page. Strange things are beginning to happen at the Jenkins house. I'm burning mad. I'm steaming mad. Jamal, Jamal! What? What? What is it? It talks. Could it be? Alive? <laughs> Sorry, Casey. I don't fool that easily. All slime monsters talk. <laughs> now without batteries. What are you talking about? The batteries are still in the box. I never loaded them. <laughs> Not going to work, Case. Let me guess. You put another set of batteries in, right? Mm-mm. Tricks just like you. 
but that's the problem. It's funny, but it's not very scary. I want to make it so scary that anyone who reads it gets goosebumps on their goosebumps. Yeah, and after reading it, they have to sleep with the lights on. No, they won't be able to sleep. I want my story to make people's hair stand on end. Or make their blood run cold. <laughs> yeah, I really want to win this contest. Can you help me? Kids are allowed to work together. Okay, why not? I like contests. Great. But do you mind if I write it on the computer? It'll go a lot faster. Fast is good. That's the only way we'll get it done for the deadline. Okay. We gotta make the story scary and creepy. But no blood and no guns. Right. It's scary and creepy. Remember? Suddenly, the limey, purple 
purple hand clamped down on her shoulder. She screamed. I don't mean to scare you. <laughs> Fine. It's just the story we're writing. Oh, I know all about the slime monster concept. Some kids in my class are in it. Oh, no more competition. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Right now, just think about our story. Let me read it. Once there was a girl named Kate who wanted gooey guts to slime on. Suddenly, a slimy purple hand clamped down on her shoulder. Well, it's good, but I think it could be scarier. Like The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. Did you ever read that? I love being scared. That's why she spends so much time looking at herself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Gabby, you want to help write some of our story? Maybe you can make it scarier. Hmm, I could try. Okay, what were we? Casey was all alone in the living room. In the dark, the rain was pouring, and the wind was moaning. And a hand clamped down on her shoulder. And the doorknob slowly began to turn. Hmm, we should really play up on that doorknob turning. And the door opening. That's how scary stories build suspense. Suspense? Yeah, you know, when you're dying to know what's going to happen next, even though you're scared to find out. Oh, I get it. So we write the story so that the reader knows something scary is going to happen, but they don't know when, and then, boom, scare the pants off. Exactly. Now, how are we going to do that? If you know he's not real, then how come you're talking to him? Because he's my favorite slime ball. My squishy face. My super slime Good. Great. Gut. What's wrong? Alex, thanks for helping me out. Anytime, bro. I thought we called the truth. Now we have a truth. Look, Jamal, can we please stop this? You really scared me this time. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the end of it. I swear. The next day... Uh... The next day... The next day... Uh... The next day... Well... I guess it's easier to read a scary story than to write one. So what should we do? We've got to put in more suspense. Right. Make the reader worry about what's going to happen next. And we need more atmosphere. Let's put Jamal and Alex in a cave with cobwebs and spiders. Or a haunted house. What if the slime monster has a hangar where he keeps his victims? It could be all cold and wet and smelly. How about if we send Alex and Jamal down a dark, Deserted alley. Characters in scary stories are always taking stupid shortcuts. Yeah. Okay. The next day, on their way home from school, Jamal and his friend Alex took a shortcut through a That was a great joke we played on Casey. I felt sort of bad for her, though. Me too. But she deserved it after what she did to me. Think she's gonna try and get us back again? Nah. Casey's too scared to play this game anymore. And you know what? That's fine with me. Hey, you hear that? You hear what? Nothing. Here it is again. What? This gotcha stuff was starting to get to me. I could have sworn I heard footsteps. Alex. What if it wasn't a gotcha? Of course it was. 
What else could it be? Alex has always didn't have a clue. He went right to the bodega to confront Gabby. He knew she'd have the answer. Papa, did you Gabby? No. Ven, 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 ven y habla con tu mamá. Hola, mamá. No dices. No, of course, of course he misses you. No preocupación de esos chicos de esos como todos muchachos, ¿no? Hey, you two nah? This is my room now. You two must think you're pretty funny, huh? What are you talking about? That little trick you just pulled? We didn't pull a trick. We've been sitting right here. Gabby, I know you two are following us with that fly monster. How'd you guys get away so fast? Alex, I swear, we didn't do anything. Did you say you've seen my fly monster? I've been looking all over for him since last night. He just disappeared. Oh, I get it. This is more of the joke. You pretend the slime monster got away, so it looks as if he was really following us. No, Alex, I really lost him. Where'd you find him? In that alley on Lafayette Street, as if you didn't know. Well, did you bring him back? Of course not. You're the one who left him there. You guys, I smell something burning. Yeah, me too. Looks like there's a fire in the bodega. Something like that. You can't take somebody else's property. You know you're not supposed to overhear the spy monster. I'm getting over you. I'm getting sick and tired of you to blame me. 